Now to a tragedy on southbound 880 in Fremont and the death of this little five-year-old girl, the outrageous activity that happened. New details emerging about that Saturday night, as well as an earlier shooting in Fremont, which police say may involve the same suspects. NBC Bears' Robert Honda joins us from near the site of that shooting. Fremont police responded to a non-fatal shooting that was reported near this apartment complex on Fremont Boulevard shortly before the fatal shooting on 880 occurred. The freeway shooting took the life of five-year-old Eliana Christostomo of Santa Clara as she and her family were innocently driving home from a dinner party in Fremont. A witness at the Fremont Boulevard shooting reported seeing someone in a bright red car firing a shot at someone near the apartment complex and saw the person who was targeted flee the scene unhurt. The witness reported the license plate number of the bright red car carrying three passengers that sped away. Fremont police put out an alert and due to the time and proximity of the 880 shooting included the possibility the cases and people involved might be related. That license plate information led to Santa Cruz police stopping and catching three young men who police say were spotted tossing a gun out the window. Santa Cruz police posted online about the stop including the possibility the three young men might be connected to the 880 shooting. The lead investigating agency, the California Highway Patrol, said it felt that posting was misleading since at this point the young men in custody are only suspected in the non-fatal shooting on Fremont Boulevard, not the 880 shooting. Right now, they say they need more information on the 880 shooting and want the public focused on that. What we're looking for right now is we're looking for the public to help us with any information that they have that will lead to uh, further evidence gathering. And they can do that by sending us video, any eyewitness accounts, and they can call us at our tip line at 707-917-4491. The CHP and Fremont police say they can't comment on any evidence at the crime scene, including whether bullets were recovered. Fremont police say it is also looking for more public help on its shooting on Fremont Boulevard. The family of the five-year-old victim told us through a designated friend they are still too distraught to talk, but appreciate the community's support, including a GoFundMe fund that has been set up. In Fremont, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.